संघ परिवार कन्वर्शन रो बीजेपी Ravi Shankar Prasad ji to reach out in a way to a PDP or reach out to the valley it's not arithmetical reality there's also a political reality sir Rajdeep I am a little surprised that you want the entire alliance uh, uh, contrast to be confirmed on a TV debate we don't do like that I'm sorry it is yes. a completely hypothetical question no it's not uh, uh, please uh, now allow me to <laughs> at least give my comments as far as the bjp stand is concerned once the final results came the parliamentary board will take a call yes. consider everything yes how can we say upon a stray television offering in a tv debate with rajdeep sadesai you reply to it no as a as a responsible party worker i will never do that as regard the bjp approach you is can provide a stable government you support the pdp from the outside a stable government is formed pdp 30 your 24 you provide outside support and make the effort to reach out to a muslim majority area a great combination mufti mohammad said and narendra modi i don't think rajdeep sardesai needs to become the unofficial advisor of bjp okay uh, bjp is competent to take a call on that i'm sure you what are. is to be done yes therefore leave it there <laughs> as we got the bjp the approach is concerned when we say we give respect to all we mean that the issue of conversion we is debate going all for a political reasons let's leave it we will have appropriate occasions to reply to that okay so you are not the day uh, yeah, today is not the day today is not the day you don't want to make that extra effort today to convince the people of the no. valley that the reason why the bjp should be no, part no, of no, the no, government now no, now rajdeep i'm sorry to say i will have to say again This is the rabid anti-mindset of Rajdeep Sardesai right. against the BJP. No, no, no. This reflecting. is not fair. No, no. You I'm said this to Karan Thapar. No, no, no. Yes, saying. I'm saying that. No, no. This is very wrong. Today, when I'm saying it, is not the occasion. Why? You it are giving okay. certificate today. I'm sorry. I differ with you. This when is the best occasion. Ka, when we say "sabka saath, sabka vikas," we mean for all, and the people of Kashmir are trusting us. In the valley, our Muslims workers have been given a space. Votes have come. We you have only got two percent. The, the, the you only got two percent vote. Oh, please, all right, fine. Evident two percent there or not? You don't see that. Therefore, I say, sorry, Rajdeep, you have a mindset against my party. This I respect your mindset, this but I don't wrong. want to uh, play game with that. Sorry, thank you. Ravi Shankar Prasad. No, no, I mean that. Now I mean you are getting very angry very early. You have no, got no, a big victory. Angry. You should be Today smiling. Have, I'm sorry, Rajdeep. Give me a nice smile. No, no, I must tell you. Let, let Give let me a nice know smile. It. Today is a wonderful day. Yes. We have made the historic achievement in Jammu and Kashmir. Mm -hmm. We are going to have a majority in Jharkhand. You mm -hmm. don't see that, and you are lecturing with your mindset against us. Come <laughs> on, is it the way to approach today? Sorry. Give me I a smile. Give me a smile. One smile. No, no, the smile is always there. You will be <laughs> friend, but if you will ask me questions, be ready to get the reply also. Okay, okay. Ravi Shankar Prasad, now I now I know what happens. Once you become a minister, you become a tough guy. You become now a pugilist. You took on Karan Thapar the other day. I am a very Karan Thapar is you know a tough anchor. I am a very uh, you know I am a very sort of soft person. Uh, Rajdeep, I am happy. You acknowledge that Karan is tough. Yeah, he's tough. I'm soft. To 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 handle Karan, one has to be a little tougher, isn't it? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Ravi Shankar ji, thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank Congratulations you, thank to you. you. That's the way only to get a smile nowadays of a BJP leader. You have to say that the BJP is winning everything from Kashmir to Kanya Kumari. The moment you point out some gaps in the BJP, the leader gets angry. But that's the nature of politics. The Congress was no different I when they were in power as well. Some more gaps, you know, the hard reality that the Mission 44 is not being achieved <laughs> yeah, even yeah. in Jharkhand. This number 38 is 35 for the BJP and three for the AJSU. Now, what do I do if this does not make me smile? Because this is well below the majority mark. Okay. And this is the kind of short of majority numbers that have been uh, that has been that has been plaguing Jharkhand. Yes. So indeed, the promise of leading Jharkhand out of coalition. government coalition government being run by contractors whereas a majority government is a government of the pe poor we, people we wait the, we will wait for the final we numbers. will wait but yes. at this point of time for the last 40 minutes or so yes you know i held on but it does seem that 38 is definitely in terms of numbers 
well below the majority mark. I, I in that sense, point. And, yeah. and they will therefore Nobody's, need independence. Not perturbing anybody's emotions. And one clarification, but this is a number. Know, I, I need to take some kind of a break. Ravi Shankar Prasad has, has boxed me in, in a manner that I need to recover my breath. Recover. He's the angry young man of the Bharatiya Janta Party nowadays. Let's take a break. Come back with more. I hope Ravi Shankar Prasad is having the sweets which are being distributed at the moment at the BJP office. Maybe he'll have some. Uh, at the moment, the BJP parliamentary board meeting to be held tomorrow. We are now told at 12 p.m. to decide who will be their chief ministerial candidate of Jharkhand. Also, their strategy for Jammu and Kashmir. So, the decision is now going to be taken on Christmas Eve. The strategy in Jammu and Kashmir is what we need to look at. And I'll tell you why. Because the numbers are fascinating. And I'm going to give you why those numbers are so important. Take a look at first how the BJP, what could be the potential BJP strategy? Remember, Amit Shah has 25. He could do one of two things. He could reach out to the PDP and together they could form a government. Why is she not coming? Ah, there she is. 25 and 29 would be 54 and they would form a comfortable government. Or the BJP could go back. The PDP could be there with 30 as they have now and they could form a government, a minority government with outside support being provided by either the BJP or the Congress. But now we have Mani Shankar Iyer's dream scenario which he is talking about his Mission 44. Mani Shankar Iyer's dream Mission 44, PDP has 30, Congress has 15 and we are back to 2002 where we had a Congress PDP government. Just to remind you who are these five others. Of these five others, and they are also now bargaining hard as usual. Look at them, they are unwilling to come on this side. So if we look at those five others, they are basically, as we are told, two of the people's conference, that Sajjad Loans Party, and three others, I'm told that includes Tarigami of the CPIM. This could be the government, there we have it. 30 of the PDP, Congress 14, others 5. This seems to be one likely possibility. The other, as we said, is a BJP-PDP government. The NC is shrinking in the last uh, half an hour or so. They're down to 12 now. So the PDP is gaining from the NC in the valley. These are the possibilities that could exist in the government. The BJP is up to 26. That's double of its tally. So BJP doing very well. PDP clearly number one. As a result, the likely government could be either these two parties coming together or the PDP going with the Congress and deciding on a government. Fascinating at the moment. Which is the more likely possibility, Anuradha, at the moment? PDP plus Congress well, or that, PDP that, plus that, BJ, or PDP the, forming the government and the BJP giving outside support? Uh, that won't be as bad. I mean, but That's it possible. depends. It is possible. I think it's possible. It depends on what the PDP is uh, thinking, how it is weighing the options. Because there's also one dilemma in its mind yes. that it needs to represent people from various uh, communities and various parts of the state. Yes. But having said that, yes. it does need to think. Um, in, in terms of, you know, it does need to have a broader vision and a long, long term vision because can I, can, can any, any step will have long term mm, repercussions. I take that, that, that point. Rail, is that a possibility of minority government or do you think that Manishankar Iyer's dream of his own mission 44 will be fulfilled? Congress plus PDP and if this time it happens, will it be again three years, three years or do you see a six year government this time? I think the modalities will be for the parties to hammer out but uh, in, the, in the possibility which is uh, distinctly so now with the PDP emerging as the single largest party with 30 seats, yes. it might even go up. Yes. Uh, the ball will obviously be in the PDP's court, court. they have the upper hand and right. then depending on what is being offered to, uh, yes. to them by the Congress or the BJP right. is uh, what they'll choose. Okay, Shabnam Loan, which do you see, you know, now the numbers as of now seem that the PDP will be around 30 and the BJP will be around 25. One possibility is that these two parties come together, give a very stable government to Jammu and Kashmir or what appears arithmetically, let me clarify a stable government or the PDP goes along with the Congress or forms a minority government. If you were a betting person in, in Srinagar, what is the most likely possibility? I've lost the connection. Can you hear me, Shabnam? Now, now I can hear you, right? What is the uh, most... Can you please repeat yeah, your question? I lost yeah, there are three possibilities emerging. The PDP forms a minority government. The PDP goes in a government with uh, the BJP or the PDP and the Congress form a government. In your view, which is the most likely and which is the best solution for Kashmir at the moment? Uh, government formation, Rajdeep, is not the solution for uh, Kashmir. Mm -hmm. 
if they could give us a stable government that would have been better now since the mandate is very fractured mm -hmm. you really can't uh, think of a very stable government it needs it will be a working arrangement now yes that's what i feel it will just be a working arrangement because basically the kashmir scenario is you need to fix the problem Yes. And these uh, governments cannot fix the Kashmir problem because you remember one thing, Rajdeep. Mm -hmm. Even though we had a very vibrant participation in the elections, mm -hmm. remember just last week mm -hmm. we had two sarpanches who were shot dead. Mm -hmm. So death stocks still stocks the valley of Kashmir. There are families which are still getting affected, and this is unfortunately a huge constituency out here. Right. That you have families who have lost their loved ones, and you have families where you have lot of people who are yes. badly hit by the, by this violence. So the yeah. question is, if death still stalks the valley, you have a fractured mandate, and then in a fractured mandate, they will have to really work out modalities which suit them first. You know, and they, then I, I think, it comes what suits the people. You know, I think you make a good point that Kashmir needs not just. You know, it does, doesn't need a government. It needs a particular kind of stable government. Importantly, you know, many believe that the most successful Kashmir government in recent times has been the one between Mufti Mohammad Said and the Congress, particularly when Mufti was the chief minister between 2002 and 5. Again, you have a historic opportunity, and unlike the Congress, which insisted for three years of its own, you could say that, Mr. Said, we are giving you six months of chief ministership. And we six years of chief ministership, and we will back you all the way. Do you see that happening? Do you think that would be the real change that the BJP could make? A real game changer move. Come out generously rather than say, Hamari Sarka, you can't do Maharashtra and Kashmir, that's clear. You cannot dictate terms to Mufti Mohammed Said with these numbers. So, do you think you could show a warm heart, a large heart, and say, Mufti Saab, we are supporting you for the next six years? Keep the Congress out. <coughs> I, I, I see a very uh, positive scenario here. Yes. Uh, clearly, uh, the situation has changed. Mm. PDP and BJP were neck to neck. Now, the PDP has gone up to about 30. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. plus minus one. Mm -hmm. I think even if you take it as 30. Yes. I think our mission 44 has succeeded. It is now mission 55. Mission 55. 44 has become mission. So, 31 plus 26. Yes. You now are I, seeing I a think, real possibility I of a government a, between the PDP and a, the BJP. There is, a, there is an ex, extremely good possibility of PDP and uh, BJP coming together yes. in any form. Okay. Either PDP leading the government and BJP as opposition will support the PDP on all the issues that are in, uh, in the interest of the state. Right. So that we keep two very big political sinners of the state, the NC and the Congress, out and put them into the history of dust, dustbin. <laughs> dustbin, dustbin, dustbin of, of history. history. Dustbin of history. History of dustbin one day. But uh, yes, Manisha, you want to make a point? Manisha, can I, let, let me, you want to respond to that? Here is, uh, the vote seems to be, let's put it this way, the vote in the valley now increasingly seems to be with the PDP. They've dominated that. Vote in Jammu seems to be with the BJP. The best, what the people of the valley or what the people of the entire state are saying, Let's have cohabitation. Cohabitation is yeah. possible even with the Congress. Cohabitation between two incompatibles is hardly something to recommend for the BJ for, for the country or for the state. There is a fundamental incompatibility between the mandates received respectively by the BJP and the PDP. For, the, for purely opportunistic reasons, I can see a possibility of either the BJP supporting the PDP from outside or joining hands with them to form a government. But if you want a stable government yeah. that is functioning on the basis of a common program, not just a minimum program, but a common program, then obviously it would be in the interest of the state and of the country for the BJ, for the Congress to join hands with the PDP on terms that need not necessarily be the same as they were then. Mr. Bansal, if they say yes. anything to keep the the if Shastri, if Chari says anything to keep the Congress out, I say anything to keep the BJP out. You know, uh, uh, interestingly, Mr. Bansal of the Congress also joining us. Is, isn't it better that you all, this mandate is certainly not for the Congress. This mandate is clearly for a PDP being the number one party and possibly for the BJP in some way playing an important Are role as well. You were saying we were going to get wiped out and no, no, now no, we are no, getting no, no, this. 15, 15 yeah. seats but, is not but, a great but, number, but, please, Rajdeep, Mani. I, I would like it's to too say short you, are, of 70. you are asking like, you know, two, two different blood groups joining and the, the, that, that cannot sustain. 
the, the ideology has to be there has to be a bare minimum program yes. on which you can um, you can function you can rule the government and the both are diametrically opposed to each other and at the same time i would ask uh, i would like to ask my um, uh, colleague from bjp yes. that what is his status at the moment in the morning jaju i was in a, the other channel and they were they were insistent that we are going to have our cm at any cost irrespective of uh, our numbers and all that's what his um, no, they, they're not saying that now now no, they're not now, saying now, that. now they have they, they are they are past masters uh, in retracting and changing their stand they are they, at the, on the one hand they are they, they, they are, their yeah. outfits are uh, talking about dharmantra yes. and all on the other hand they are, the, the party is saying that we are we are sabka saath sabka hath so this is this is their oh, oh, and, 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 and now, now, now they are now they are saying one minute, that one minute, mission is now 56 mr bansal listen listen listen, yes. listen. listen. I mean, you don't have to be so no, aggressive. No, I am. I am putting forth my point angry. of view. Why is everybody you, getting angry? The question angry? is. I, I the question is. My, I, I said my thing. The question well, is. Once you were saying. If the BJP. I, I never interrupted you with all that. So if I the BJP emerges as the single Arda largest to, party. To to to, to uh, speak out my mind, and then after that, you are you are free to uh, say whatever you like. If the BJP, if the BJP emerges as the single largest party. We have every bloody political right in this country no to hope. say but, that. But, 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 no but, please, but please, now, that but now, be but now, that, that, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I, can I, can I, can I give all of you some water? Can I give all of you some water? Let's have now, some respect for each now, other across the now, table. Now, just as Mr. Manishankar Iyer said, our primary intent is to keep the Congress out. Yes. If the Congress so, manages so to keep we us out, still is happy. Uh, uh, we are still, we are still hopeful. So your, either we your are with the government. Your objective is not governance. Your no, objective, objective is, is like governance. Your ob objective is not development. Mr. Your objective is not uh, cohesiveness of the nation. Your objective is to keep the Congress. So that is your. Yeah. No, okay, I, okay. I don't think that that all okay. is very well. Okay. Okay. I, I am going to. Congress going mukta to Bharat. Congress mukta Bharat is one of our objectives. Uh, 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 okay. Please. I am saying it. I and okay. Just. just a minute mr bansal just a minute mr bansal mr bansal please you know in this channel we don't do what you know is generally done make noise we don't want to this it's an educate we, we it's an interesting election let's inform our viewers in fact manisha you know i want to look at what is happening in in jharkhand because at about 9 in the morning we were looking at 50 60 for the bjp it's 37 it's possible that 37 will go to 40 45 but it's clearly not going to be the kind of overwhelming majority that we thought in the morning do you believe that affects this governance model in jharkhand you know you're having two states in a way today which both are sending a warning to governments that we are not going to give you those massive majorities because we don't believe that you can handle those majorities so the pdp is being let down they are not getting their 40 that they hoped the bjp is certainly not getting the 50 that it hoped in jharkhand is there a message there yeah a strong message i know people think assertion is the way to power yes. but i think a far more sober approach yes. will have to be taken yes. and indeed the bjp needs Take to off. in yes. the morning what we thought yes. was more literary and more metaphoric yes. the bjp today jharkhand is one of those states that has not been able to build its own assembly house it's yes. been that bad to enter the portals of even that borrowed house of the assembly it will have to rely i think on who else but its old and and former uh, bjp person himself uh, the jvm seems to be the only political party that they could do it's interesting with. you and know I, I, i think i think mr seshadri chari knew something we didn't he talked yes, about absolutely. a ghar wapsi for babulal marandi and this could be the moment to babulal marandi to play a role as a supporter to the babulal, bjp yeah so the lessons indeed however much we are stressing here no kashmir is very different and we voted against you know even in the face of the bullet look at what's happening in jharkhand in the face of the you know the bullet the messages that are coming today they are definitely weaning to you know moving towards inclining towards the bjp but with caution not one of their quite a few of their big leaders are trailing yes. mr homan soren himself Yes. who we thought had been able to get the bastion of the jmm not doing well he's fighting on two seats he is not doing well in his home bastion which is a dumka seat therefore sobriety all along and as i said it's the voter even the poorest voter desperate against bullets desperate <coughs> not being able to have Can two I? square meals in a day is giving a political decision they want political parties that in fact are far more sober in power and cautious towards the objectives with which people bring them to can i uh, can i for a power. moment just take yeah. shabnam loan on that shabnam even in the valley AJC it it you know as you are rightly saying this is a complex state it needs to be handled sensitively given that sensitivity 
Do you believe that political parties should go with arithmetic, pure arithmetic? Or should political parties be looking at a new compact, a new contract in a sense with the people of the state? finding some way to bridge this Jammu Kashmir divide because one thing is clear and we were hoping in the morning it won't happen but increasingly it's becoming clear Jammu has voted very differently to the valley and that is worrying yes can you hear me yeah 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 uh, uh, Rajdeep uh, yesterday I was on a TV show that's what I said that unfortunately what I feel is that in Jammu, it has been the consolidation of the Hindu vote. Mm -hmm. And in the valley, it has been the consolidation of the silent uh, Muslim uh, majority vote. Mm. Now, what we need here yes. are some things beyond a government. Yes. One, accountability, yes. property, yes. proprietary. Yes. You see, what has happened is that uh, there is no need to appease governments. Yes. You ask, you need to ask these governments to deliver mm -hmm. and corruption is one of the greatest problems that this state has faced. You know why? Yes. Because people who have been coming here to power for the last 25 years, here's the formula I give you. Mm -hmm. The person, the moderates who are in power, mm -hmm. they desperately need a set of separatists to be on board. Mm -hmm. They desperately need three, four hundred boys who will pelt stones and raise slo uh, 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 slogans for Azadi. Yes. The reason being that they have indulged in a dance of loot. Whatever was supposed to be given to the people, it has not reached them, Rajdi. So let me say with respect. That's true of every Indian state. We're supposed to give so much. That's true to of the every people. Indian state. No, Kashmir is not were, exceptional. Let's be honest. Supposed, in every Indian yes, state, our rulers supposed. have misused their power, whether it's in Jharkhand or whether it's in Jammu and Kashmir. So the point is, at the end of the day, the people need a government which responds to their urges and responds to their aspirations. And that has not happened with Kashmir and that has not happened with Jharkhand. And in a way, the voter has sent out that message. I am not going to give you the massive mandate till I am convinced that you are actually going to fulfill my aspirations. So I think there is, there is as usual, the voter has humbled both the ruling class in Kashmir and Jammu and Kashmir and the ruling class in Jharkhand. Even the BJP is not being given the kind of brute majority that it might have hoped for in Jharkhand and Jammu and Kashmir. Let me take a break because clearly this has been a yet another fascinating day in the life of an Indian election. We need to still know what is the shape of the government going to be both in Jharkhand now and in Jammu and Kashmir. Clearly the BJP will form the government in Jharkhand. Will they need independence to form that government? As far as Kashmir, Jammu and Kashmir goes, Mehbooba Mufti is going to have to decide which direction does she go. Go with the Congress, which is openly offering support, or go with the BJP, with whom they've had a difficult relationship in recent times.